Step buttons 1 through 10, moving from the left, trigger individual drum sounds from within Vilka Beats. You'll notice that when I trigger any of the first four drums, that the knobs at the top will light up that correspond to the buttons that I press. For example, if I press the kick drum step button, the click knob lights up, which falls within the kick channel of Volca Beats. Volca Beats has four true analog drums hiding within its small, dark chassis. The six analog drums are kick, snare, high tom, low tom, closed hi-hat, and open hi-hat. And as one would expect, you have access through each of the four main drum channels to modify the length, pitch, and other distinctive qualities as they pertain to each individual drum part. In addition to the analog drums, you also have four PCM or digital sampled drum sounds. These consist of clap, clave, a go-go, and crash. The digital drums don't have as much editability, but they do have one very cool feature that affects each digital part, the PCM speed. Let me play a pattern real quick and show you what will happen if I raise the PCM speed for just one drum. The sample plays back faster or slower depending on the knob adjustment. Very cool. This can seem a little gimmicky at first. However, having some lo-fi samples with pitchability can create some amazing effects as well as cool sounding percussive sounds. We'll come back to more sound editing tips soon. For the meantime, you're probably wondering about the drum pattern that I just played by pressing a single button on Volca Beats. Let's start talking now about patterns and how to trigger them.